Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how to install VST plugins into your Reaper software. So first off, you need to have Reaper completely closed and you're also going to need where the VST that you actually want to install is located. Uh, for the example of this video, I'm going to be installing the uh, Guitar 5, uh, Guitar Rig 5 VST. So first off, you want to go into your Windows Explorer and yeah, you want to locate to where your where Reaper is. Now if you're on 32-bit it's going to be in x86 uh, um, if not then it's going to be in program files which is 64-bit. Uh, in Reaper there's a folder called plugins and then fx. So you just want to be here. So next step is to open up uh, where your VST is located and for the example of this video as I said before mine's Guitarig 5 so yours could your VST could be anywhere. It could be on the desktop. It could be in um, it could be a package like mine, like the uh, Guitarig Five. So it could be in uh, maybe if you're using the Amplitube or something like that. So now you want to find out where your VST is. Um, I have with my folder here. I have a VST plugin of 32 bit and 64 bit. This needs to correspond to the version of your Reaper. So mine's uh, 64 bit. And then simply just drag this across. Actually, copy it first because I think that just replaced that moves it completely out of that folder. Mm -hmm. Oh, wrong button. Just paste, and I've already got it installed here because uh, I've had it on before. So just for the purpose of this video, I'll copy and replace. Okay, so that's done. Now you want to open up your Reaper software. Uh, this error came up because I had one of my USB my USB interface plugged in, so just press no. So I'm going to insert a new track mm -hmm. and I'm going to click on FX. Now this is where your VST should be. Um, make sure, I, I'm pretty sure I said this at the beginning of the video, but if I didn't, make sure that you have Reaper closed before you do this. Um, if you didn't have it closed, then just restart it and it should work. So just to show that this works, uh, I'll just click OK. And here is Guitar Rig 5, the VST version. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments, uh, leave them in uh, in the comment box because I don't know where else you'd leave them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.